in hand to tell this government your lies must stop. Stop, we must say, is enough, is enough. On Monday, we saw the media review. I want to ask you, do you feel this economy is booming like Imbert says? Who shut down Petrotrend and have us with high fuel prices is this wicked PNM? Brothers and sisters, your opposition will not be intimidated by anyone or anything because we have a constitutional duty to the people of this nation to defend them, led by our great leader, the Honorable Kamala Basad Bissessa. We are defending the people of our nation in our parliament as never before. Many times there are those who condemn our actions. Some of them are right outside, but our actions have always been proven to be right. Never forget they condemn us on our private motion we brought against the president. Yet the facts demonstrated that we were correct. The Honorable Kamala Prasad Bissessa was correct about the interference by this government in the Police Service Commission. Let us not forget that. Many times they say the opposition is not doing enough, yet we became the first opposition to move four motions of no confidence against key members of this cabinet of this government. We brought a motion of no confidence on the National Security Minister. We brought a motion of no confidence on the Energy Minister. We brought one on the Minister of Finance, Minister Imbert. We brought one on the Minister of Health. And you know what? They did not vote it down. This government did not vote on those motions. But these motions were not just about the vote. It was about exposing incompetence and lack of confidence the people of this nation have in this government, while also feeling those on the other end. This disingenuous government continues to make a mockery of parliament. We saw that on Monday. Nothing they say can be trusted. They like the aim is to dip, destabilize any form of proper debate in Parliament. Then like, when you look at this government's legislative agenda, there is no aim or purpose. Before I close, my brothers and sisters, I know the leader of the opposition is coming up, but I want to say a heartfelt thank you as Chief Whip to my members of colleagues in Parliament in the lower house. I have to call out their name. I want to say, Thank you to Rodney Charles Naparima, the fighter. Khadija Amin, we call her the warrior. Rujanat Indal Singh, the member right here for Kuva South. I call him by Sunil Narayan. Sometimes he open and sometimes he bows, but sometimes I have to send him back to, for his um, delivery. Sometimes he's giving me checking. Our MP, Barry Padarat, Princess Tong fighter. And I want to say a heartfelt thank to Dr. Rudal Munilal. I call him, I call him my Sir Vivian Richards, master blaster in Parliament. They have, they say, Stuart Young, Chinese can't play cricket, but they say Stuart Young is Gary Supers. I say, our, our contemporary is Dr. Munilal, the master blaster of Vivian Richards. I want to say thank you to Saddam Hussein. You saw the fighting on Monday. Our young Maruga table and Michelle Benjamin, who's here. Thank you. I call him my bowler. He bowls line and length in Parliament. Good member for Shogona West, Dennis Rambali. I want to say our Sir Gibbs. Our Sir Gibbs in Parliament is Dr. Lakram Budo, always steady. The fighter in, in Karani Central, Arnold Ram. Dr. Rai Ragbir from Kamuto, Manzanilla. Our young dynamic Shogona sees, and she gives them trouble in social fair. Bandana Mohit, our chairman of our party, an MP for Joko, um, Orapuch West, Dave Tanku. I want to say our education shadow minister, Anita Haynes from Tabakit. Our party organizer, Ravi Ratiram, solid. Dr. Rishi Ram, um, Sicharan, who gives them all the trouble in health. And myself, I call myself David Lee. I am the Larry Gomes. I am the Larry Gomes, solid as a rock. And when you look at Larry Gomes, he, he adds up 300. So Dave, as I close, as I close, as I close. <laughs> Rest assured, your opposition will continue to stand for your leader, Kamala Prasad Bissessa. We have the strongest opposition standing up against the PNM. 
Besides, besides ensuring a strong parliamentary opposition, your leader has ensured your leader. Yeah, well, I waited. I, I have my leader. Wait, you see, I didn't forget my leader. My leader, who's the greatest captain West Indies ever had? Clive Lloyd. Clive Lloyd. Clive Lloyd. Clive Lloyd was the greatest West Indies captain we ever had. And our leader is my Clive Lloyd for our great party, among many other things. Among many other things. Besides, as I close, besides ensuring a strong parliamentary opposition, your leader, our Clive Lloyd, the Honorable Kamala Passard Decessa, has ensured your party is the most vibrant it has ever been. From the Sunday presser to Monday virtual, and then TT speaks. Under your guidance, Kamala Passard Decessa, the UNC never stops fighting for you. Under Kamala Passard Decessa, you have a parliamentary opposition and party that is the next government in waiting because we have, we have the ideas, the vision, and more so, we have a great leader in the Honorable Kamala Prasad Bishasa. I want you to stand with us solid in TNT because under Kamala Prasad Bishasa and your members of parliament, we stand with you. I thank you, my brother and sister. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chief Whip, Dr. David Lee. Brothers and sisters, we have come to the most special part of our meeting. Never before in the history of your party has you had a leader that has loved you as Kamla Passad Vicesa. Never before has you had a leader that has cared for you and fought for you as Kamla Passad Vicesa. That is why this evening we put Keith Rowley on notice. Your time is up and Kamla Passad Vicesa is coming for you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Misha Benjamin, member of parliament from Murga Tableland, and it's my honor and pleasure to introduce to you the next Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Mr. Bellman, ring that bell, as I bring to the stage the person that cares for the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. She gave us 40% as this PNM slapped us with 2%. But she coming back to get Trinidad and Tobago working again. The Honorable Kamla Fassad Bissessa, our the voice next of the people is the voice minister. of God. The tables are turning, your eyes are opening. Welcome to the revolution. People crying out for justice. Some of them crying out for freedom. Everybody crying out for democracy. Now it's time to make a stand, yeah. Come on! Cause this is a revolution, the people's revolution. This is the revolution. Let's unite and stand for something. This is the revolution, the people's revolution. This is the revolution. Come on, everybody sing freedom. Everybody sing freedom. One and woman sing freedom. Everybody sing freedom. Freedom. Everybody sing freedom. Brothers and sisters, yes. let's all walk together as one. This revolution is about restoring uh, democracy. And this and revolution is about well. stopping this creeping dictatorship. This is the people's revolution. Come on, people. Hey, hey, come on, come on, hey, people. Hey, hey. No, no, come on, people. No, no, come on, no, come on, no, 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 no. I want to say, just as Ms. Michelle Benjamin said just now, I'd like to welcome on stage. Uh, the next Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, the Honorable Miss Kamala Azad Bissessa. The people's revolution. This is the revolution. Let's unite and stand for something. This is the revolution. The people's revolution. This is the revolution. Hey, hey, say freedom. Everybody sing freedom. Man and woman sing freedom. Everybody sing freedom. Freedom. Everybody sing freedom. Man and woman sing freedom. Everybody sing freedom. Everybody 
Everybody say what? Everybody say freedom, freedom, freedom. Thank you very much. I am so, um, I am very, very impressed. I say good day to you all. As I welcome you to our joint meeting of the parliamentary arm and the party's congress, you know. We haven't had meetings like this for so long because of the COVID. But God is great. God is always great. And so we meet again. Past two years, we could not meet in, in numbers. But we were always there in spirit and in heart. We were always there. Before I say more, they really has now made me into a man, I think. They say only parliament could change a man into a woman, a woman into a man. But I accept the captaincy of this team. I thank you, David Lee, as your captain. And I want to tell you, UNC activists, friends, family, all, as we join together today, I want to tell you, we could never have come this far without the frontline members of the party. And so as I call their names, the team that I also lead with Chief Whip and with uh, leader of Senate Business, Wade Mark, please stand as I call you if you're here with us. MP Anna Ram, please give him a round of applause. MP Richard Sicharan. MP Vandana Moit. MP Indar Singh. MP Rambaline, MP Rati Ram, our party organizer, MP Rai Ragbir, MP Dr. Bodo, MP Rushton Parry, MP the ever young Michelle Benjamin, MP Rodney Charles, MP but well, they call any master blaster. I just assume as Rudy, Dr. Murilal. MP Dave Tanku, our chairman. Oh, all right, okay, David Lee. Who are you now? Gary Sobers, which one of them? I just know him as the Chinese David Lee, who hates us in the Senate, in the House. MP Barry Padarat. And this MP I call the Amazon warrior. I say, girl, don't stand up next to me, you know, you're just too tall. MP Khadija Amin, a fighter. MP Anita Haynes. Did I forget any MP? Of course, MP Kamla Prasad. And in the Senate, Yes, um, Saddam is not here, but oh, you may, hey, welcome, MP Saddam. You made it back in time. Thank you for being here, MP. I don't know what you have with that lady named Bridget Boy. Some hour of the night, last parliament sitting, she says, Tanama, look at me. I said, Saddam, this hour of the night, the lady wants you to watch her. <laughs> I know you're good looking and thing in a boy. But I thank you for the work that you do. And so let me now turn to our senators who work tirelessly in that Senate. The leader of that Senate bench, well, the veteran forever, Senator Wade Mark. I will share something with you now. A PNM minister once told us. I am not calling names. Just get jealous when I call your names, you know? A minister, one of them, do you care? It doesn't matter. He said, when Senator Mark is in that Senate, that fellow will take a full stop or a comma, <laughs> yeah? Or a semicolon in a bill and talk for 45 minutes. That's the man. 
they're afraid of him in that Senate. My deputy leader, Jill and John Senator, please. She has been functioning as a kind of CEO of our party. And I thank her so much for the great work in and out of the Senate. Well, this fellow used to be in my cabinet when we were in government. And as a term boy, dumb boy, okay, okay. Dumb time. Dumb, okay, okay. This fellow will talk you to the heavens, to the sky. Senator Arnold Roberts spoke himself. And in my Senate bench, a brilliant young lawyer, Beautiful as well. I speak of Senator Jayanti Lachmidyal. I speak also of the only kind of little looking white man up there in the Senate bench. You know, our party represents everyone, everyone, every color, every race, every creed, every color, every hue in the rainbow. Senator Damien Lyle. This other senator boy, that fella don't have license for his mouth. When he speaks, he talks the truth, and he hits them in their face. Senator David Nucking. You think that is people still? Our party has more. Our party is so diverse, is so talented. There is not a single other party in this country can boast of the diversity and the talent of the United National Congress. So I ask you to raise your hand with me. We are UNC and proud. We are UNC and proud. Oh, thank you. Then we come to our corporations, our regional corporations. You heard them today? the chairman and the council and the aldermen of all our corporations. Please big it up for the mayor of Shagwanas, Fai Amin. Please big it up for Dr. Alan Sami. And the one rasta in the house. Sorry, Chairman Awong, you're not the one rasta, but our chairman, who is the rasta, <laughs> Chairman Awong. Gauri Rupnarayan, Princess Tong, Anil Jutaram, uh, Sandy Grandi, Dinesh Sankar Singh, Saparia, Raymond Kozia, Mayaro. Please pick it up for them. And then we have our shadow minority leaders in all the corporations. Today I want to acknowledge my sister. She's in Okamna. I'm more like a daughter. Jalen Rupnarayan. Please pick it up for Jalen. Amit Suknanan, Sterling Chase, Sheldon Garcia, and Ruplal Samurai Noah's body, Samurai. I listen to him when San Fernando speaks. Wow, brilliant speaker, buddy. Thank you so much. And look, let's not forget we have a whole national executive team, huh? Peter Kainai, the ever hardworking general secretary. I mentioned already MP Tanku, MP David Lee, Senator Jalen John, MP DPL Lakram Bodo, Tobago Rep Bimal Ram Logan, Legal Officer Ex Officio Brian Baig, uh, San Fernando West, but on our executive, Sean Sobers, Don Sylvester, Eli Zakur. Monifa Andrews, Kavish, who heads our UDAM, Kenya Charles, don't get fed up your names, you know. Every name and every person is important. A person told me once, just say, hold up your hand like this. Hold up your hand. You see five fingers on this hand? You notice something about these fingers? Each one is different. Each one is unique. 
but we cannot survive without all five and five and ten fingers. So for the entire team, Kenya Charles, Khadija Amin, Nicholas Morris, Rashid Karim, Ravi Rati Ram, Shanti Pudram, Tim Gopi Singh, welcome soldier. We share your grief and we thank you for being here. William Archie, we can't get away with that guy. You know. He's forever on the streaming service. Great guy, great, great person. Thank you, William. Neil Gosain, that fella gets more letters printed in the media than anybody else. I don't know what he has. Piro Scan, I know, Piro, 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 well. Piros, are you here? Please stand. Quiet, but deadly. He gets the job done as our overall cabin manager, Firo Scan. And then our PRO, Kirk Megu. Please stand. Well, poor Kirk, I see you get somebody express, express vexed with you, but that's okay. That's not new. We are not surprised. We will continue to battle. Each day is a constant battle as we fight between the shores. So what we do? We will sail our vessel. Wherever the river takes us, we will stay the course and we will fight and we will not give up. UNC and? UNC and proud. So look, you look around this hall. They put those barriers there, ask them to take it down, but we don't want to get disturbed. But they put them because in this hall, we thank the MP for allowing us to use this hall. Hoover, in nursing, thank you. So Jensek and the others planning, they put up that, those blinds because the sunlight was so strong on an afternoon, okay? So it's not to keep people out, but you know what? We must always let the sun shine in, do you agree? We must always let it in. And so today when I look around here, when I see the UNC is more united than ever before, and we will remain united in our commitment to save this beautiful land, our beloved land. We must rescue our country from the evil, satanic, corrupt, and morally bankrupt PNM regime. Do you agree? Yes. We will remain united in our oh, Kevin always tells me, remember to say, enough is enough. Enough is enough. And we must stay together to rebuild and restore our beloved land. My heart was filled with so much pride. You know, last month, hundreds of UNC supporters and activists, joined by our MPs, by senators and so on. I didn't know they, they rallied all across the country to protest against this wicked and obscene evil government. You know, I see there are some people who think having a Facebook page, you know? You think that's the beginning and the end of life. Please, you must have a life apart from Facebook. Agreed? And, you know, they, they feel running a party and having a gathering. A political party is about warm, but it's about people, it's about hearts and minds and souls. It's not about a Facebook picture, remember that. But by the way, you can put up a picture on the Facebook of this massive crowd we have here today. Agreed? Yes, we must. I want to say that I want to tell persons, you know, the UNC is proud, the UNC is strong. The UNC is united, but we cannot do it without you, all the activists who are here today, all the members who are here today, and those that tune in. Thank you all. I pray, Anna. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let's move along. Two weeks ago, our great party celebrated what? 33 years. 33 years. of service to our country. And today I acknowledge our first leader, the great Baste Pandey, who celebrates his birthday in this month of May. You know, we had a political fight 
But I have never one day shown any disrespect to the founder and leader of our party. Never. And as I celebrated my birthday in April, Mr. Pandey celebrates his birthday in this month. Can we say happy birthday, Mr. Pandey? Happy birthday. And so when you see this crowd here, when you see us in the parliament, outside the parliament, we know the only party in this country that represents every creed, every race, every ethnic group, every religion is the United National Congress, your party. I am proud with you that we remain a people-centered party in this nation. We fight for children. We fight for children. Listen, these liars, and I'll come to them in a minute, who say the UNC did nothing and Kamala did nothing. If one person is proud of my achievements for the children of Trinidad and Tobago, it's me. I have done more for children than anyone else in this country. So, the UNC is a party. We created jobs. We had low taxes. You know, I didn't put a single new tax. Munilal, remember, Wade? When we went government, Tim, not one new tax, but we were able to have achievements in every single sector in our country. We had a better plan for dealing with crime. We had a better way of life. And so, do you know what it is? We are a party of ideas. We are a party of innovation. We are a party of strategies to deal with the problems in our country. We did it. And guess what? We will do it again. We will do it again. And so, the UNCIC gets the job done. We get the job done. We are not about lies. These people come in the parliament and they lie, and they lie, and they lie. And when we correct them, they come back and do what? Lie again. It, the, the, the PNM, the Rowley PNM is a party of liars. You've seen that. Liars, yes. Every day, yes, Mohani, liars, liars. And you saw the strength, you know. So we get the job done. We have a track record of performance. They talk, we deliver. They talk, we deliver. So we saw the economy under us. We created how many jobs? You all remember? Over 50,000 jobs. How many jobs have been lost under this wicked satanic government? Over 100,000 jobs lost. And they come to parliament to say recovery and better yet and whatever. The, the, the fellow they call it Dwen. He dubbed himself the Dwen, you know. Because when we built all those schools under my watch, under Tim's watch, under Pandas government, my government, he come to parliament and say, we're building school for what? Paratan Dwen. Well, Mr. Dwen, take your numbers and go. We don't believe a word that you say. When we were there, we increased wages. We settled over, what is it, um, in our city, over 143 wage negotiations. Yes? Over 143 wage negotiations. We said, what have they settled? None. 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 And look at their offer. We offered 14%, but you see, people, elections have consequences, you know. We offered the 14%. Look at this government's offer now. 2014, zero. 2015, zero. 2016, 2017, zero. All right, hold on, hold. 2018, 1%. 2019, 2020, zero. Well, you vote for that. So make sure and vote them out the next round. You have to take them out. And so our country is in a crisis in every sector. We have the crisis with respect to jobs. 
We have a crime crisis. We have an education crisis. We have an economic crisis. And um, let's look at food prices. Everybody here, either you or your family member, will go to buy food. A very serious crisis when it comes to food prices. Created by whom? The Rowley PM. Our food import bill is over five billion dollars already. And with the shipments and the shipping and so on, we're going to have some problems. But they have given us no plans to cushion the impact of rising food prices. This gentleman went to Guyana. Your Prime Minister, not mine, yours. I didn't vote for him. I did not vote for him. Did you vote for him? He goes to Ghana, standing in front of a waterfall. And you think that is making news in Trinidad and Tobago? Who cares? I'm very happy that nobody was brave enough. And I'll put no ideas in anybody's head, but he didn't fall off the waterfall. I'm very happy. <laughs> okay, I'm not going there. Okay, Budilal, I'm not going there. But he going to Ghana. He has no workable ideas or plans to make sure we have food here in Trinidad and Tobago. After he said in the parliament outside the nastiest things about Ghana, you all remember? Yeah. Rodney Charles, you remember? Yeah, yeah buff up Rodney and buff up the whole of Ghana. He goes to Ghana trying to save face. But we all know them for what they are. He should look closely at what they are doing to make sure their country is able to weather the challenges ahead because they are diversifying. And when Trinidad and Tobago was at the center of the CARICOM, of the Caribbean, this Rowley government has now taken us at the center, but at the lowest levels you can come to, at the lowest. I'm so ashamed. So look at prices. The cost of flour, a two kilogram bag of flour, that has increased by over 23%. So let's see. Rice, rice going up by 22%. Ibis flour, 23%, but the worst is vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, all you ladies remember that? Going up by $9, you know, 56%. Chicken, 54% increase. Eggs, 21%. Blue band. I think every person in this room and outside knows blue band. If there's anybody who doesn't know it, I'll show it to you. We all use blue band margarine, going up by 44%. And so we look at all these prices from 2015 to now, rising, rising, rising prices of food. And then what is our plan? Does our country have a plan to deal with the rising costs of living? No to the Rowley PNM, no. They have no plans. But we have a plan. I've shared it before. Rati Ram will tell you he's our shadow agriculture person. Unlike the PNM, our plan is in agriculture. We have to feed ourselves. We have to have food. You know, when you're dead, nothing else is important. And when you're alive, what is first? Food. Food security. When we were in government, you remember? We took off the vat and over 7,000 food items. And the country did not collapse. What did they do? When they came back, the food people said, we drop in VAT from 15% to 12. Well, guess what? They put the VAT on all these food items. Liars. They think they'll get away, but they will not continue to get away. And therefore, our plan enhanced agriculture at the center, one of the plans, at the center of economic strategy. I will share with you our plans. You get bored, you all like the bacchanal, but we have to share the plans, okay? So we had a plan to create agricultural parks with the infrastructure for food. We had a plan, and we still do, to implement an agriculture insurance protection system to protect our farmers because they have to feed the nation. We talked about and will continue to make happen to invest in research and development to encourage agricultural production, processes, and technology. We will work with farmers and the private sector 
investors to capitalize on global demand for non-traditional food crops. Do you know, I know my little kitchen garden in, my, in front of my yard, okay? I shared some with you with the tomato or the peppers. But do you know every pepper you can grow? Florida will buy every single pepper. And we can plant pepper because we are a hot country and a hot people. So we can plant pepper. <laughs> We can export the peppers and get foreign exchange, which we need, foreign exchange, yeah? So, let's move along. Cost of living rising, fuel prices rising. And um, what do you pay now to fill a 60-liter tank? In 2015, it cost you $90. In 2018, on another wicked government, $210. Now, in 2022, it's $240 to fill that same tank, you used to pay $90. And guess what? The man said, the Dwen said, and they ain't riot yet. So you went from $90 to now $240 in 2022. Fuel prices. The fuel subsidy, the government is backing, backing, backing away from that subsidy, but you will have to pay for that subsidy. So, it was a lie. Remember the Prime Minister of your country. He said, if you were closing your fridge door, I will repeat myself in case you didn't hear me. He said, the government is not closing down petrol train. And if you did not hear me, I'm going to repeat it. Rowley, the government is not closing down petrol train. You hear lie? After that is all, 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 all gone, all. And today you want to talk about fuel subsidy and prices of gas and so on. Listen, fellow, we know who you are and we know what you stand for. You stand for yourself. You do not stand for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. And we had, we have plans for the energy sector. I am happy for Ghana, but I feel ashamed for Trinidad and Tobago. Ghana is now the energy center, not just of the CARICOM, but of the world. That's where we were. So we had the plans to cut our fuel bill by 500 million to create new jobs. We talked about establishing a solar energy park in Tamana, a solar energy park diversifying away from oil and gas. We talked about accelerating wind resources program. It's called RAP using harnessing the wind on the east coast of both Trinidad and Tobago. We have a plan to incentivize the purchase of new and used electric and hybrid vehicles. They have seven years to talk about this hybrid, you remember? Dr. Bodo, seven years they talk about hybrid. The only hybrid we have is a sham government pretending to be a real government. That is a rowdy government. That's the only hybrid. They pretend to be governing, but they don't. And listen, I saw Mr. Um, Minister of Finance in Parliament, what he said? Property tax coming for you. He said, before the end of this year, there will be property tax. Remember that? Yes, property tax. Yep. So, what do we say in the UNC? Yes, you have a property. Yes, you have to pay a tax. But we will not and will never agree to the PNM's property tax on the citizens of Canada. Thousands without jobs, cost of living rising, fuel increasing, everything going up. And you, on top of that, you want to drop property tax on the citizenry? Well, if that's not bad enough, we are in a crime crisis. We are a nation in bloodshed. And if there is a um, screen, you can put it up. If you can, please, on the screen. Um, criminals have become, you see there? Over 3,000 murders under this Rowdy government. And when you check the graph, you'll see anytime the red is in power, what happens? Crimes go up. Crimes increase, they have not a clue. And they have a minister of national security who tells the country his job is not to make you feel safe. 
Well, Minister Hines, give up the job. Get out. Go, go. Everyone must go. Go, go, go. Go. So are we surprised that crime is out of control under this wicked, satanic government? No, I'm not surprised. And then we can look at the examples in the newspaper. I'll share with you, but time will not permit, but I know you will read, and you are sensible people. And you will see the crime reports every day. Every day, but you know the most painful of it all? Is the abuse of children. Somebody told me a few days, he said, listen, you are my friend, I'm your friend, okay? If my friend said a bad word, I said, okay, still my friend. If my friend coughed down with my, I said, well, maybe not so good, but okay, still my friend. But when your friend interferes with a child, we said, no, enough is enough, never, never, never. And women, where's the famous pepper spray? Anybody see the pepper spray yet? Maybe Faris have some company to set up still to produce the pepper spray. All these women murdered and just a few days again in a repo, another woman, man. Where's the CCTV cameras? None. Saddam got him to admit in the parliament, Heinz, not one camera fixed. Not one. And so women and children, the most painful thing is when they come at our children. And you would have seen the reports, I'm not here to defend, 97 report or 2001, 2002 report. I am here to demand justice for the children of Trinidad and Tobago. That's what I'm here for. And those reports, you know, and then they come in the parliament and they lie. Well, Rudy, I'm going to file a motion. Chief Whip, we will file a motion in the parliament against Chief Liar Rowley. He said the UNC did nothing about the 97 report. Trying to deflect from this latest 21, 22 report. We did nothing, but I've seen the lies everywhere. We did it in the parliament. We brought a package of legislation in the parliament. The minister then in charge, he said he gave a report to the commissioner of police, Hilton guy. What did you want me to do? Express what you want me to do. I was a member of a cabinet then. And we acted on that report responsibly. It was given to the police. We drafted a package of legislation to deal with the children and the homes. And when we went out of office, if you now want to tell Maroli, Rowley says, report disappeared, Rowley. It disappeared under the PNM. After we went to office in uh, 2000, and it was only when I came back and the UNC came back in government 2010, we picked up the package of legislation again and we made it happen. And this liar, he's King Liar himself, he says he operationalized the um, children's authority, really. 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 Mr. Rowley, talk to your friends because it is alleged. There is a pedophile ring in the PNM then and now. Talk to your friends. As they say, call names, call names. PNM, Pedophile National Movement. And therefore, we've put out all the reports the bills that we passed, many bills. I see that then Attorney General has a memory lapse because he says he doesn't remember the report. But um, on the Hansard record of the parliament, the then AG, the UNC AG, he talked about it. He said, um, we dealt with uh, abuse of children and that report, that Task Force 97 report, he said that's why we brought all these bills, Children's Authority Bill 99, Children Amendment Bill 99, Adoption of Children Bill 99, Miscellaneous Provision Children Bill 99. Who was in government then? 99. It was the UNC under Mr. Pandey, and I was part of that government. Children's Community Residences, Foster Homes, and Nurses Bill 99. 
Minister Ramsohan has stated on Hansard that the Sabo report was laid in Parliament. Who was in Parliament then? Rowley has been there since 1987. They don't remember that? And then we come, Minister Ramsohan has publicly stated a copy of the Sabo report went to police officer Hilton Guy. What did you want Ramsohan to do? What did you want the UNC to do, Express? I'm answering you today. I've answered you before, but you're still telling Megu, get off your high horse. But you stay on that horse and ride the horse down the road. Stay on it. You can call them to account. The Sabda report was referenced in the parliament on numerous occasions. So all of you sitting in the parliament, maybe it's a long time ago, so memories might be, but go back and jog your memory. And, um, as we move along, I said, we will file the motion against uh, Mr. Rowley in the parliament for lying to the parliament, for misleading the parliament, misleading the parliament. And so, Commissioner of Police acting, Mr. Jacobs, the first person you should go and interview is none other than King Lai himself, Keith Rowley, first one. Call names, Mr. Rowley. Pedophile National Movement. Call names. Your colleagues, you know them? And I know categorically no UNC was ever involved in any of that abuse of children. None. None, none, none. And uh, I have so many more things to say, but I think we've had a long evening. I could skip all these things. But I wanted to make some announcements, okay? And Raylan, can you please pass the pages with the announcements, please? I thought we had put it here. So the first announcement, can I please get those pages? Thank you. Okay. Announcements, you all ready? Some major announcements for some people stand up in the back there. Some major announcements for people sitting on the front here. Your party. Our great party. We have some very important things to do before the elections are called. And so the first thing that we will do, and I make this announcement today, we are facing our darker days. I want to tell you as we strengthen our party, we have to prepare for the collapse of this government. And so yesterday, Friday, 20th of May, the UNC executive met pursuant to Section 12, Roman 4 of our Constitution. And the UNC executive has decided, and today I ask for your ratification of this Congress, that the UNC internal elections will be held on June 26, 2022. Okay. All in favor, stand up and raise your hand. Internal elections, June 26, 2022. Thank you. Anybody against? So a unanimous decision of this council, Congress, and I'm told we have over 1,000 delegates here today, over 1,000. Now, why are we holding these elections so early in the year? There's a reason. Normally, you don't hold internal elections when there's a national elections. And we know our elections are due internally by the end of the year. But we can't do it then because what is happening at the end of this year? Local government elections by law is due. So let's get our party elections out of, out of the way. Agreed. And today I put everyone on notice. The UNC is ready to take government and the UNC is ready to save Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> Nomination forms for the NATEX will be available from Wednesday, 25th May, 2022. And after these elections, we'll continue to work to strengthen our party. We will work to bring on the constituency elections. We will work with respect to the women's arm and the youth arm. 
The country has now opened back. For those who say that we did not do these things, you know why. There was a pandemic. And we still have to be careful. But as the country continues to open up, the party will continue to do its work. So ask for your commitment and ask, do you agree? June 26th, NATEX election. After that, constituency elections. After that, women's arm elections. And after that, youth arm elections. And after that, we take on the PNM in any election. Whether it be local, whether it be the local elections, but I hear a lot of rumors, I don't know. You know, we say, um, call names and I'll, what is it, I'll whistle, all right? So I'm hearing the whistles coming and saying, can I hear your whistles? Enough is enough, call the general election. No, enough is enough, enough. Is enough. As I close, I had a long, long speech, but you know, I think um, some people are kind enough. They've sponsored some doubles for you all. Jensek, is that true? Chairman, MPs. But I hope the MPs and said just paying for it, by the way. We agree. Some doubles and some corn soup, I think, is there waiting on you. So I close now. And I really, really want to share this final set of words with you as we are gathered here in our numbers. Rowley and the PNM, they depend on dividing us. And some of us take the chain up. Some of us, be, you know, we believe the PNM division narrative. But we know they want to pit citizen against citizen. That is the way they rule, divide and rule through hatred, through division. And that is wrong. That's a very dangerous pathway to go along. That pathway will lead to civil war. We're seeing this unfolding tragically elsewhere around the globe. The whole world is suffering because of the divisions, divisions, divide and rule. That was the British colonial mentality, divide and rule. Let us get out of that mentality. We are one people. We are one race. See not hate in any face. See not race in every face. We are one human race, all of us together. So do not let that one man divide us. The role of PNM, don't let them divide us, please. For political gain. I will tell you, you know, if I hold up my hand like this, I will not do it now. But all of us probably got a cut at some point in time. And what happens in our veins? What is there? It's the same red blood that we all have. We are one race, the human race. Do not let the wicked, evil, satanic PNM divide us. When I look at my members, I see every creed, I see every race sitting here in front of us in this grouping. So I say to my brothers and sisters of Trinidad and Tobago, if you cut us, do we not bleed? And when we bleed, it's the same red blood flows in our veins. So do not let the color of your skin or the texture of your hair, each one is a beautiful member of the human race. We say divided, we fall. They want to divide us. That is their only strategy. You know, remember that? You know? Don't take that chain up. The only strategy, the road the PLM has, Divide, but united, we will stand united together, you and she and God. The divisions they create, the divisions they make is what keeps us forever in a crisis. Whether it's the economy, cost of living, food price, everything, crime, everything. Because why? You take the chain above his king liars. You take the chain above the pedophile national movement. Put aside your differences. We are one people. We are one nation. United we will stand as one. And so, our country shares a culture. Our country shares a diversity, 
as a very beautiful place. Yes, we have differences in religion, whatever, but at the end of the day, we are one nation that says there is only one God. Whatever language you use to worship, that is your right. But there's only one God. And there is only, so far, one human race. Remember that. And we're all part of it. So come on now. <laughs> one. One. I think you all want to say something. Say. One party, one leader, as we go forward, whoever that may be, we must go forward united. We must go forward united. So, sprang along, Paul Keys, Douglas, John Agitation, or Sparrow, you know, each one of them had something to say. When I was younger, I remember John Aji, I just call him Aji, Aji. We see sprang along, sorry they passed, you know, but great souls, the culture and the language of a country. We all want to see our country thrive. We want to prosper. We want our children to prosper and survive. On the other hand, you have the satanic people abusing children. Children. Sick. Sick. And Mr. Jacobs, Diana Mawe said you didn't even call her yet. Rowley give you a, a, a mission, go and find that report. As I told you, he lied because he was in Parliament, the report was referenced. So Mr. Jacob, acting commissioner, called Diana. Diana said, look, I have the report, nobody calling me. Nobody asking me. Rowley making this like a big CIA, FBI. <laughs> Might be Ukraine and um, Russia and whatever. The only person that they blame is UNC and me, all of us. But the only fella they ain't blame yet is Putin. Blame Putin for the war, for prices going up and economy down and so on. So look, as I say, as Blumog and Job always used to tell us, he's always saying, let us see grace in every face, not race. Let us see grace. Do not let them divide us. Because remember underneath here, we have the same, the same, the same red blood. The things that make you cry, they make me cry too. Not true. Regardless of your skin, your color, your texture, your... the things that make you cry makes every one of us cry. A piece of our children. The things that make you happy makes every one of us happy too. So we have climbed onto the mountains and we've looked down. We have come from the valleys, so mountain and valleys, wherever we may be, we are one nation, one people. And anybody come in your face and talk race in your face, run them. There's no place for race in our country. Run them. And that's what they will do. That is what they do all the time, and some of us forget. That's what they do. That is the PNM modus operandi. The PNM template, the PNM playbook. Oh God, it's time to grow up, fellas. Time to grow up, ladies. It's time for Trinidad to be to grow up and let go of the race and unite to go forward. Stand, stand, stand. We have a lot of work to do, okay? We have a lot of work to do. Our country is coming apart from the cost of living crisis, the crime crisis, the economic crisis, the education crisis, everything. Everything is a crisis. And the only way we are going to hold our country together to rebuild after this pandemic is for us to come together. I ask you to stand with me. Put your hands, join your hands, your elbows. Please stand, join. Join with us, join with us. And let us together say, united, united. Put your arms together, United National Congress, we go forward, united. Unity is not just a slogan. It must be done in deeds and in action. So let us commit when we leave here today that we join our arms together 
to fight to take back our country, to rescue our country. Enough is enough. The PNM must go. The Rowley PNM must go. God bless you. God bless you. And I thank you very much. Thank you. I thank you. The voice of the people is the voice of God. The tables are turning, your eyes are opening. Welcome to the revolution. People crying out for justice. Can I ask our MPs and Sanders to join us, please? And can you take this up, podium, someone? Can we get this off? Like this, everybody. If you're proud to be you and see like this, and sing with me. Never my love again. Never my you and see. Like this, everybody. You say you fear I'll change my mind. But I won't require you. Never my love. How can you think love will end when I've asked you to spend your whole life? Like this, everybody. If you're proud to be UNC, sing with me. Put up your hands and sing along. Never my UNC. Never my love. Never my UNC. Never my love again. Never my love. Never my UNC. Never my UNC. Never my love again. Never my UNC. Never Revolution. All who say it's time to start the revolution. Let me hear it say, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. All in song like all the minute. All who mean it. All who say it's time to start the revolution. Let me hear it say, yeah, yeah. Squeeze your hand, Ken, where is. I know definitely we have some live entertainment coming up. Let me see what's going on. Hey, here we go. Biggs, give me the revolution song, please. But this is the revolution. Yeah. 
Bates. Ah. Ah. But this is the revolution. The people's revolution. This is the revolution. Time to unite and stand for something. Sing it. This, this is, is the revolution. revolution. The people's revolution. The voice of the people is the voice of God. Prepare. The tables are turning. Your eyes are opening. Come on, people. welcome to the revolution. The people are crying out for justice. Some of them crying out for freedom. Hey. Everybody crying out for democracy. The people's revolution. This is the revolution. Let's unite and stand for something. This is the revolution. The people's revolution. This is the revolution. Everybody sing freedom. Everybody sing freedom. Everybody sing freedom. Everybody sing freedom. Hold on, bitch. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I don't like this. We're supposed to be yelling freedom right now because we, it's like, in this country, we all in bondage right now, you know? And you all, the UNC party, you are the revolution. We are the ones who stand for the people. We are the ones who are giving the people hope. We are the ones who have the people wait the election to vote for we right now. Right? So I want everybody to say freedom. Please, the voice say of the freedom. people is the, the voice, voice of God. Of the people the is the voice of God. Welcome to the revolution. People crying out for justice. Some of them crying out for freedom. Come on. Hey. Everybody crying out for democracy. Now so it's time to take a stand. Why? 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 Because this is the revolution. The people's revolution. This is the revolution. Let's unite and stand for something. This is the revolution. Hey. The people's revolution. This is the revolution. Everybody, everybody sing freedom. Everybody sing freedom. Yes. Everybody sing freedom. 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 Man and woman sing freedom. Everybody sing freedom. Brothers and sisters, let's all walk together as one. This revolution is about restoring our democracy. And this revolution is about stopping this creeping dictatorship. This is the people's revolution. Come on, people. Come on, come on people. Let's move. Come on, people. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, people. Crying out for justice. Some of them crying out for freedom. Everybody crying out for democracy. Now it's time to make a stand. Why, 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 why? Because this is the revolution. The people's revolution. This is the revolution. Let's unite and stand for something. This is the revolution. The people's revolution. This is the revolution. Everybody sing. Everybody sing. Come on! I need you! Everybody sing! Come on, woman, and sing freedom! Everybody sing freedom! Everybody sing! As we move in this people's revolution, my brothers and sisters, let's all walk together as one. This revolution is about restoring our democracy. And this revolution is about stopping this creeping dictatorship. This is the people's revolution! Come on, people. Revolution. That's all. Watch this. Watch this. Say freedom. Everybody say. Man and woman say. Everybody say. Again, again. Freedom. Everybody say. Man and woman say. Freedom. This is where the revolution is here. This is the start. This is the vibe here. This is the revolution. The UNC party. How many UNC people say? Yeah, yeah. Good evening. So are you UNC members, could you all give yourselves a round of applause? 
My name is John Michael Alivocus. I go by the name AKA Macamillion, AKA the Great White. I awesome. The Great One. The Great White. I said, why you call yourself Macamillion? You all want to know why? Please tell us. You will be very interested in the answer. Well, you know his name, Ali Bocas, and so on. And then he come, he say, no, I want to be known as Ali Bocas. No, I want to be known as Macamillion. Why? Tell us, Macamillion. Well, the boss lady say, you know, she say, John Michael, you know, he is my son now. I say, I say one thing I love. <laughs> one thing I love. And I would say to Trinidad and Tobago, I lost my mother. And this is my mother now. So all UNC members, good evening to the Honorable Kamala Prasad Bissessa, our Prime Minister, former Prime Minister to be. Give a round of applause. Yeah, man. Three words that I stand by and we stand by. Love, peace, and unity. We stand by our motto. Together we are, together we aspire. Together we are. And we must achieve change. With further adieu. I want to bring a man to the stage to represent, to surprise a man of the soil, a man of the ground, my friend, Trinidad, 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 Killer, hit that song there. Paris, come down, come down, come down, come down. Uh, what do people who say time for me, really to come down? Hey. Paris, hey, come hey. down, come down. Hey. Pull up. Are you need pull up? Are you need to wake up inside here? If this is how you're going in the election, where the people who say this is the next prime minister of Trinidad and Tobago? Hey. Squeeze. Keisha, come down, come down, roll. Engineer, fix up this head now. Let me do it nice for them now. Make sure everything fix up. You understand me? Rowley Philly, too bright. He can win election tonight. Uh, come down from there, Rowley. Come down from there, Rowley. Take me stupid advice. Shamfa coach with them, they not nice. Uh, come down from there, Rowley. I just want to warn you before I mix it with the concern you. You went lucky to, to walk voodoo for the people them to vote you on the IG post you look. Uh, he feel it too bright. He can win election tonight. Uh, come down from there. Play the rhythm, now, man. Engineer, fix up this set now. Yeah, you like it? I want to see every flags in the air, every rags in the air, and make some noise. Make some noise. Let me get the thing fixed up. Big up everybody inside here. See me. You don't know is a love. Time for PNM to come out of power. Rowley is a wicked man. If I agree with me, make some noise. Look what's going on with the country. Time for we to stand up and put him out of power. People suffering day by day by day by day. Nothing is going on. Engineer, play the rate. If he can lie, you telling me about it? <laughs> Engineer, what happened? Feel the power, feel the power, feel the power you went see in your area. Feel the power, feel the power, feel the power you went see in your area. Feel the power, feel the power, feel the power you went see in your area. Feel the power, feel the power, feel the power you went see in your area. Come, come down, Shamfa, come down, come down. You went see in tongue, in tongue, in tongue, in tongue, in. Rowley, don't leave you on top of that horse. I need you to come down here for me. You're only claiming P and M boss, but everybody say, who? 
Oh, if it be too bright, see how we need election tonight. Come down from the holy, come down from the holy, take the joke and advice. Them kind of make it a nice. Come down from the holy, come down from the. I just want to warn you before you mix in mood to concern you. You went lucky to one walk for do for the people and them to vote you on the IG post. You look like. <laughs> Come down, come down, Shamfa, come down, come down. You and see, in tongue, in tongue, in tongue, in tongue, in. I don't want to leave you on top of that horse, Rowley. Come down here for me now, your OD clip, he and them is boss, but look what you do to the country now. Huh. If he lead to bright, he can win the election tonight. Come down from... I want you to sing. Huh. Take me to pay that vice. Shamfa go to that nice. Uh, come down from the rowley. Come down from the. I just want to warn you before you mix in with the concern you. You work for no just to get. Now the. Eh? I love you. Look up everybody inside. I want everybody to sing. Say that. Huh. If you little bright, you know when election tonight. Uh, come down from the. Right, we learning it from now, keep it right eh? We learning it from now, so when the big truck reach on the road and we start to go down on the road, are you agree with me? So when I say, if he lead too bright, he can win the election tonight. Or oh, you could do better than that. Let me go again. One, get ready to go. Two, get ready to go. One, two, one, two, three. If he lead too bright, he can win election tonight. Uh, come down from the, come down from the. Rowley, take your stupid advice. Rowley, boy, he not nice. Uh, come down from the, Rowley, come down from the. I just want to warn you before you mix it, more no concern you. You went lucky to one walk for do for the people and them to vote you. On the IG post, you look nice. A million followers, a million likes. Everybody be excited! If they lead to right, if you with the election tonight, uh, come down from the. I love her, you. Look, and I want to tell her, you, I'm supporting Auntie Camilla for the next election, and I bring in my whole army. Uh, if they lead to right, if you with the election tonight, uh, come down. Go on. Give Trinidad Killer a round of applause, everybody. Give our next Prime Minister a bigger round of applause, everybody. Kamala Pasad Bisesa, the great white Macamillion. Love, Mom. <laughs>